Well, good Wednesday morning to you. Welcome back. It is a great day, enjoying a great cup of coffee. My name is Don K. Preston. I am the president of Preterist Research Institute of Ardmore, Oklahoma, and this is what I call my morning musings. I am sharing with you some thoughts on the Charismata, the end of the age, the arrival of the kingdom, the defeat of Satan. And one of the things that we are currently studying and examining is the purpose and function of the charismatic gifts of the Holy Spirit. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the Bible indicates that when the gifts had performed their function, that those charismatic gifts would cease to function, 1 Corinthians 13. And a text I want to look at this morning is very, very powerful. Ephesians chapter 4, 8 and following speaks of Christ and says, When he ascended up on high, he gave gifts to men. He gave some to be apostles, some to be prophets, some to be uh, evangelists, some pastors who are teachers. For the equipping of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, until we all come to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of the Son of God to the perfect man, to the measure, the stature, the fullness of Christ. So here we have a quite emphatic text that tells us that the charismatic gifts, number one, were given to equip the offices of apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher to do the work of the ministry until the arrival of the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, until the arrival of the unity of the faith. Now, it's important to notice a couple of things here. Number one, the temporary nature of the gifts, they were given until the arrival of the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Number two, they were given for the distinct purpose of equipping these offices miraculously. We might even say these are miraculously endowed offices. Now, it's so interesting to me that there are many who claim that the gifts continue, and yet they say, well, we don't have prophets today, and we don't have apostles today. Now, I'm fully aware that there are some churches, some, quote, Pentecostal churches, who do have apostles. But by and large, the evangelical evangelical community recognizes the cessation of the apostolic office. They likewise recognize the cessation of the prophetic office. Now, someone will say, well, Don, if what you're saying is true, then the office of evangelist has passed away. Matter of fact, Joel McDermott in my recent debate with him said, why, if the new covenant has been established, then there are no no more evangelists. Well, I'm sorry, that's just quite a silly argument. And in, in the debate DVDs, I answered that quite effectively, I might add. I would urge you to get a copy of that debate, uh, the DVDs of that debate, and look at it and listen to it very carefully yourself. The The writer does not say that teaching would end at the arrival of the measure, the stature, the fullness of Christ. As a matter of fact, it says that would be the time of the arrival of the the knowledge of, of Christ. That would be the time of the unity of the faith. That raises an interesting point. He does not say, and this is critical, he does not say that these offices and these functions would continue until everybody believed exactly the same thing, i.e. unity of faith. No, the definite article is in the Greek, until we all come to the unity of the faith. This is a way of saying until the system of the gospel, until the new covenant world was fully arrived, the charismatic gifts would function. Therefore, one purpose of the charismatic gifts was to bring the new covenant world, i.e. the faith. You see, the faith is the gospel system. It's the new covenant system. 
It's not my subjectively held faith or yours. It is the system, the new covenant system. Thus, the miracles were to continue until the new covenant system was fully arrived. And those gifts were given and were to endure until the arrival of the unity of the faith. You see, this is exactly what the Old Testament taught, that when the Old Testament would pass away, the Lord would give and have in its place the new covenant. And those charismatic gifts were poured out in the last days of the old covenant system in order to bring the new covenant system into reality. That's when these miraculously endowed offices ceased to function. Thanks for joining me for this morning's Morning Musings. Have a great day, and we'll see you on the flip side.